Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. This is Bianchi Oltre XR4 road bike and in this episode I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know about this bike. And at the end I will give you my opinion should you just go ahead and buy it or should you just consider this bike. So as you probably know, Bianchi is an absolute legend when it comes to road bikes. They are the oldest uh, bike manufacturer in the world. They were founded in 1885, so they definitely have a huge heritage in making uh, road bikes. This Bianchi Oltre XR4, so who is this uh, bike for? Let's first answer this question. So you see, as you see, this is a heavily aerodynamically optimized road bike, so everything from the frame, fork, handlebar stem and the seat post. So if you are interested in going as fast as possible in a straight line and minimizing your drag, then definitely you should consider Bianchi Oltre XR4. Just don't expect this bike to be, you know, very light or very stiff because this is not the point of this uh, bike. When you look at the paint schemes on this bike, so what are you getting? You are getting uh, three paint schemes to choose from. The first one is this very classical graphite gray, race gray, uh, just you know a decent one, nothing special in my opinion, but then you have two beautiful paint schemes from Bianchi, this is the frozen white paint scheme and of course their legendary celeste green paint scheme. This is a very easy choice, you should definitely go for the Celeste Green paint scheme because it's just an iconic paint scheme that's always connected with uh, Bianchi bikes. Now when we speak about the retail price of this Bianchi Ultra XR4, it will definitely depend you know, on the specifications that we are looking at, but uh, in this case when you are looking at the uh, Bianchi Ultra with Ultegra DI2 specification, it seems to me that you can already find these bikes on the market uh, for about uh, 5,500 uh, euros. It will also depend on the wheel set that you're gonna get with this bike and we're gonna come to that point a bit uh, later. So just keep in mind roughly uh, this bike uh, should be available for about 5,500 euros, which is definitely, you know, eye-watering price and a bit spicy price. But let's see when we dive into the specifications, what do you really get for your hard-earned money? And as always, uh, we can kick off with the frame and the fork on this bike. So the frame is a carbon fiber frame from Bianchi with their own CV technology, countervail technology, where basically uh, different carbon fibers and resin have special properties where they can you know absorb some of the road bumps nice little technology from Bianchi but um, <clears throat> I mean it's nothing special considering some other bike manufacturers what they are also doing this uh, carbon fiber frame of course uh, comes with the press fit bottom bracket classical Shimano press fit bottom bracket uh, flat mount disc brakes and also 12 millimeter true axles both the front and the back Fork is a carbon fiber fork again from Bianchi with uh, flat mount disc brakes and again 12 mm true axles at the front. I will also mention here that when you think about the warranty for this carbon fiber frame and the fork, Bianchi is offering a 5 years warranty, which is just decent warranty, but I believe that considering the retail price of this bike of approximately you know, 5,500 euros, they should definitely be offering a lifetime warranty on this uh, carbon fiber frame and the fork, so the similar thing that, for example, a giant specialized track can do. Now let's talk about the drivetrain on this bike. So what do you get? You are getting a superb Shimano Tegra DI2 group set. So this is electronic group set from Shimano, 12 speed group set, and it's absolutely a stunning, excellent group set. Uh, you know, creme de la creme, no problems here, and it will work uh, perfectly fine. I will just mention here that this newest Shimano Tegra DI2 is kind of semi-wireless group set where shifters and the front mech are communicating wirelessly, but then the rear mech and the front mech are connected uh, with the cable. And of course, inside the frame, you will have an internal battery to power this whole system. When you look at the crankset, they didn't cut corners here, so you are getting a Shimano Zultegra crankset. This is 5034 crankset. It is paired with the Shimano Ultegra chain, 12-speed chain, and also the cassette is Shimano Zultegra 1130 cassette. So you can see here the ratio of 1130 cassette to 5034 chain rings 
definitely no problems in attacking any steep mountains and also you will definitely have enough gearing to go as fast as possible in a straight line. As I said, this uh, carbon fiber frame comes with a press fit uh, Shimano bottom bracket. This is the classical Shimano's BB72 press fit bottom bracket and again I'm not expecting any creaking noises from this. When you look at the braking system on this bike, again you are getting a superb Shimano's hydraulic disc brakes, so these are with the Shimano's RT800 braking rotors, superb braking rotors with uh, ice tech, ice freezer technology, uh, superb heat dissipation and uh, these rotors are 160 millimeters both front and the back which is absolutely excellent. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike because <clears throat> this is a bit confusing in my opinion. They are claiming that uh, you will get a Fulcrum Racing 400 uh, wheel set. So, if you look at Fulcrum Racing 400 wheel set, this is an OEM wheel set. So specifically for certain bike manufacturers, you cannot buy it on the open market. And uh, on the Fulcrum's website, this is basically a Fulcrum 400 Airbeat wheel set. If this is the case, if this is the wheel set that's included on the bike, then this would be a carbon fiber wheel set tubeless ready wheel set with a total weight of 1640 grams with the rim height of 40 millimeters and the internal rim width of 21 millimeters. Hubs are classical fulcrum uh, seal cartridge bearing hubs and also uh, the spokes, 24 spokes at the front and 24 spokes at the rear, uh, classical um, stainless steel aluminum, stainless steel uh, spokes. So the reason why I was mentioning this uh, 400 dB wheel set is that Fulcrum also offers a Fulcrum 4 dB wheel set which is an aluminum wheel set. So please make sure when you are buying this bike that it comes with the Fulcrum 400 dB wheel set which should be a carbon fiber wheel set. So I'm assuming that this is the case uh, for this retail price of approximately 5,500 euros. This wheel set is wrapped in the Pirelli tires, these are Pirelli P0 tires, uh, 25mm tires, perfectly fine. Uh, the only thing I would do personally in the future and I would suggest you to, once when you destroy these tires, get yourself a 28mm tires, just because you will have uh, so much more air volume inside and also the, the bike ride is going to be so much more smoother. Now when you look, about, look at the cockpit, so the handlebar and the stem on this bike, so what are you getting? So this is a one piece handlebar and the stem affair, it is a carbon fiber fee, a piece from Vision, Vision Metron and as I always say, you know, this uh, one piece carbon fiber handlebar and the stem can always be a bit problematic because it is a proprietary piece, so in the future if you need to replace it, okay, you'll need to buy something from, from for example, uh, Vision, Vision Metron, and if you need to adjust your position on the bike, like finally tune your position, then it's a bit tricky because again, this is a one piece handlebar and the stem, it is a carbon fiber piece, which is excellent, but again, just keep that in mind. When we talk about the seat post and the saddle on this bike, so what are you getting? So the seat post is carbon fiber seat post from Bianchi, perfectly fine. It will soak up a lot of road bumps and I will mention here that the saddle is the Physique Argo Vento R3, a superb saddle in my opinion, but in the case you don't like this saddle, it's very easy to replace and you know put the desired saddle, the one that you really like, so this is not a problem. So, in a summary, what would I advise you to do, considering that this Bianchi Oltre XR4 has a retail price of approximately 5,500 euros? Should you just go ahead and buy it, or should you just consider it? Well, I suggest to you, if you are in the market for an aero road bike, heavily optimized aerodynamically road bike, then definitely you should consider this Bianchi Oltre XR4. Bianchi, as I said, absolute powerhouse when it comes to making road bikes have a huge heritage and it is the oldest bike company and I still believe that their paint schemes are one of the most beautiful on the market, especially if you go for the Celeste Green paint scheme. But it is an eye-watering price of so 5,500 uh, uh, euros for this bike and when you look at some of the competition, for example from Kenyon, uh, from Giant, from Merida, they can do these uh, similar levels of the bike for you know much cheaper than what Bianchi is asking for. So that's why my recommendation is just to consider this bike. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing and if you do, please do subscribe, like it, keep on watching and as always I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers!